Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance collaboration due to be dropping very, very, very soon. I'm a big fan of these, obviously, because they're inspired by the fucking iconic movie Belly from back in the day, if you kind of know anything about it. It's a free pack at the moment. Um, I think these are the NB, I think they're the 2002, right? Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's a 990 version 4. It's my bad. I thought it was a 2002 R's. So it's a 990 version 2's. Is it 90 version 2's? So it says there, right? 990 version 4, sorry, um, by Joe Fresh Goods. You've got three different colorways. You've got the intro, you've got the Keisha Blue, and the outro. Um, and they're going to be coming out very, very soon. I love the storytelling that he does with these fucking sneaker collaborations, Joe Fresh Goods. Um, again, they're very, maybe, um, american in their look especially the white and black ones or just the colorways in general especially being inspired by movies you think of all of the guys from the states that would be posting their nike ids and the references they'd be making from back to the future to like i don't know whatever spider-man and shit americans do love their thematic based you know their theme based colorways and shit they love to do the whole storytelling for your shoes but i actually love these i love the execution of these um the material choices is really cool as well on these white and black ones you've got this lovely 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 brushed almost suede effect here on the top new buck almost you've got this nice addition of the plain leather you've also got the black mesh on there as well they look absolutely sublime and i'd also love the fact that it just went for a pure white outsole as well so no breaking up of it and making it black on the out no no breaking no making it black on the midsole on the outsole is completely white and i'm guessing once you wear that in as well you get some really nice wears on the bottom of that and it kind of is going to look really nice once it gets distressed and stuff i love the fact that he relaced the shoes by the way um, you can tell definitely Joe Fresh Goods is a sneaker head. The shoes have been relaced correctly. If you know about correctly lacing shoes, you know what I'll go on. And again, white lining on the inside for me is always a bit of a no-no because I guess I just have really dirty feet. Right? I'm a fucking dirty feet. I'm a gutter baby. So whenever I'm wearing socks, my socks get absolutely destroyed very quickly. So I can imagine the fucking sock lining or the inner lining of the shoe is going to get really done up very quickly with that white on the inside. But I love them. Also, I love the little addition there of the belly logo font with a nice... 1998 the release date of the movie there on the back of the hill tab um the other colorway in blue is really beautiful too these will go actually really well if i remember correctly what was that um was it supreme belly jacket do you guys remember this that came out a while ago i think those shoes would actually go really well with this jacket that came out from supreme a while back that would go really well if you if you're one again i'm not really for matchy matchy everything but I think if you wanted to do a bit of matchy matchy, that Supreme jacket that came out maybe a couple of seasons ago that features the iconic image of Nas walking through the club with the fucking contacts in and shit and whatnot, that would look really cool with those fucking Joe Fresh Good shoes. I'm not going to lie. That would look really, really flippant and cool. So if you want to do that, whatever, make sure you do. And then we've got another colorway here. Um, which is the last one. I think this is the outro. You've got this reverse of the white and black. So you've got the reverse white and black. These look really cool too. Um, so same basically model, um, same outlay. Instead of as well, I love this in addition on the inside. So you've got the white mesh. You've got here black patent. That's really good mix. I love that patent. The black patent mixed with the suede looks really cool as well. And again, relays that look incredible. So these are going to do numbers when they come out. You've also got the little Joe Fresh Good Insignia little stamp there on the side as well. They look really, really fucking good. So I can't really wait for these to come out when they do eventually drop. We've got no idea on release date at the moment so far. Um, but hopefully we get a date soon regarding these. But they look absolutely tough. Love everything about them. Um ready so i think full winter 2023 so they're going to come out sometime soon before the end of the year i'm assuming um but yeah they look really really cool i love the look of them joe fresh good so far hasn't really missed when it comes to his new balance collabs so i can't wait to see them drop when they do eventually drop but these are absolutely incredible so big up joe fresh goods big up joe fresh goods and then of course we have to talk about a little bit about these they have not come out just yet to be fair um i'm still waiting for them to drop these are the reimagined jordan fours um you know, most of you wouldn't know that Jordan 4s definitely are in my top five sneakers of all time. I think my sneakers of all time have to be the Air Max 90 Infrared, the Air Force One Low, and then of course Jordan 4s definitely are in my top four, um, top five, sorry, sneakers of all time. But for, for whatever reason over the years, the shapes have been super shit. And the reimagined shape, essentially what they've done 
is that they've tried to make the shape um to spec of when they originally came out in the what 80s 90s and shit right so they've got the original specs original shape of how they come out they've got the obviously the original nike air tab on the back of the jump man and they're meant to be using very very high quality materials on them too as you can see the leather here is really you know it's got this real tumbled lovely leather that will really kind of um break in really well once you wear it and it'll probably take up a lot of damage and can take up a lot of fucking wears and shit and just in general they just look of a higher quality than the standard jordans that you usually get when they usually drop and of course that colorway the bread colorway is absolutely iconic there's nothing else you can say about that ticker hatford absolutely snapped on these i've loved them from day dot and i can't wait for them to drop like i'm actually considering when they do actually come out i'm considering doing two pairs or maybe even three pairs one to rock two to fucking have on ice because i'm gonna be beating these into the ground because the last time i had a pair of bread jordan fours i absolutely wore them into the ground like literally to the point where the back was like slanted because of how much i was wearing them in like holes in the bottom of the shoes like i would absolutely wear them every single flipping day because they go with so many fucking outfits as well so i'm all over these can't wait for them to drop again um, i think the pricing is going to be fairly expensive too from what i've seen i've seen prices up upwards of 200 so which i'm fairly okay with i've always said if you're a jordan brand and you want to have because jordan brand are pretty repetitive you know for lack of a better term especially you know they try to service their american customers so they just put out retro after retro after retros they don't really make any interesting new shoes so if you're going to put out retros every single year and you're going to flood the market with jordan ones with jordan threes with jordan fours with sixes with sevens at least give sneakerheads like good quality materials give them the best shapes possible so that when they're spending 250 dollars plus on these shoes they, they they know they're getting something special it's not just the same jordan and other colorway so it's good to see them doing this kind of reimagined thing because at least that gives sneakers like myself who don't mind spending the money on actual good quality stuff or don't mind buying the same shoe again every fucking year at least we're going to be okay buying it when it's actually a good quality or very very high quality so i'm eager to see these drop i'm eager to get them in the hand but so far just looking at the shoe there with no socks you know with no someone's you know with no foot inside no form thing to kind of make it look a certain way the shape already looks absolutely phenomenal like you have this really nice um you know flat sole flat out so which again it's hard to describe really if you're not really into shoes but usually nike retros have a have tendency to kind of have this weird banana bend at the top so this whole flat thing here going on the shape of it is just absolutely chef's kiss so i can't wait for them to drop and i'm gonna be buying maybe three pairs minimum I swear to God, I'm not even fucking joking. I'm going to be buying three pairs minimum.